Hello everyone, Super Mario Bros. X2 Beta 5 has been released after 4 years, and my god, just look at how cool everything is. The trailer says it all. New features, NPCs, settings, you name it. So in this video, I will explain what I like and don't like about the new Beta 5 and Super Mario Bros. X2 in general. So I absolutely love the new NPCs that we got. Not only that, but they work perfectly and aren't buggy like in Super Mario Bros. X-38A. The Chain Chomp and Flame Chomp were definitely needed. And they even added the Flagpole. FINALLY! I'm not sure if there's a way to make the Flagpole work with Secret Exits, but it's still an awesome, necessary feature nonetheless. Now, despite this game being absolutely amazing, there are many downsides that are keeping me from using Super Mario Bros. X-2. One of the things that I don't like is the user interface. It's not very easy to navigate and just looks like too much being thrown at you. There is a way to switch to the legacy style interface, but that barely changes anything. Having the interface fill up most of the screen compared to the space to see the preview of the level also bothers me. Yes, you can X out some of the windows, but it still makes me feel overwhelmed. I'd rather be able to have one thing open at a time like in the legacy editor. They decided to put the background objects, blocks, and NPCs all in the same window, which I'm not a fan of, making it harder to find something. Although one thing I do really like about this interface is that there is an undo and redo button, unlike in the 38A in the Legacy Editor. Another thing that pisses me off is the fact that levels take forever to load when testing them, which is very unnecessary and time consuming. In 38A and the Legacy Editor, you could test levels instantly without having to wait for anything. It does matter, especially during the instances of trial and error when testing something. In 38A, while you are playing a level from the level editor, you can place objects, enemies, and items in the level, which is a lot of fun. But guess what? Super Mario Bros. X2 doesn't let you do that. There are also a few power-ups in 38A that are not included in Super Mario Bros. X2. But the worst thing about switching from 38A to X2 is that the levels cannot be used interchangeably. Therefore, if you want to switch an episode from both versions, you would have to pretty much start from scratch again. There is absolutely no way I'm doing that. No matter how many features Super Mario Bros. 2 gets, 38A will always be my favorite level editor ever, and it has a special place in my heart. Well, thanks for watching. I really hope that there are people that I can count on that still bother using 38A. Let me know your opinions in the comments and I'll be back soon.